Splendiferous! A merchant has been spotted by my submarine at 345. And I do apologize for the first episode in this series. It was quite dark! Not gonna lie! But, uh, I will try to remember to brighten this up. Just like I brighten your day whenever I upload a video. What a dickhead. Hey, there's Orion. Let's focus on matters at hand. We have a ship that is heading on kind of a dodgy course because that is going to... We're going to run into him, basically, I think, at the rate of speed that we're on. So, I would like to go over here, please. Neuer Kurs 101. And... There you go. Alright, so let's... See what this looks like. This actually is opportune uh, because I can use my stern tubes more easily if I do this. All right. <laughs> this is this is rich, meaningful content right here. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. All right. So hey. We can identify this. Theoretically. I... If I... Fuck. <laughs> if I fuck. It's kind of a stupid hypothetical, because we all know... Never mind. This is terrible. So this is gonna have a KM and a KM. It is going to be one of the... Uh, one of the special, special numbers added by the super mod. And it does have king posts in the front there. Hmm. It's Dutch, by the way. Those of you keeping score at home. I think I've already identified him. He's not. He doesn't have a dazzle pattern on him or anything like that, but. Uh, what even. What are, even are we doing with this? Why is that. I ran into this before, I know, but it just. It's very frustrating. Let's just keep that up. I think that that's pretty solid. Yeah, and the funnel is shorter than those, uh, the KMs there, so... Uh, bring our booty around. Just bring it around town. Alright, and slow it down also. This still confounds me, because, um... To do this, you really have to speed them out first. Which is just... Order. Unacceptable. Order. <laughs> As a uh, long time Silent Hunter 3 player, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Or really in any Silent Hunter for that matter. No. <laughs> God bless it. Uh, well, we kind of screwed that up. Let's see what ours. I think we've got plenty of time. Yeah, we're fine. We're basically not moving. Okay, so let's go to the scope. Bring that up. One of these over here. Get that thing up. The time machine. It's interesting that uh, this pops up prior to our reticle really being on the ship. Don't know what that indicates, if anything. Keep an eye on him, stem to stern. He might be going kind of quickly. I'm thinking maybe nine knots, but... And that is 27 seconds, so... I line up 27 with the ship's length, right? Yes, 27. And that is 139 meters... 10. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that that's possible. 
Because he looks like he's making a concerted effort to sail in the ocean. Alright. So then, bring the waterline down to the topmost mast. We've got ourselves a little bit over 5 degrees. So then we align 5 and some change, really, with the top wedge. Look for his mast height, 32.4. And we get about, we put in 2.6. Bada bing! Lock that in, get the right AOB. Kind of important. And get rid of that. Open her up. Open that up. Fiddle with this. Twist this. Gently caress that. Kiss this. Mwah. Open it. Smack it. Flip it. Rub it down. And there you go. Oh yeah. I don't know why I made that shallow. That's a big ship, right? I just feel like if you if you let it go its default depth, even with these larger merchant ships, there's a possibility it's going to hit the part of the hull where it angles. So that's why I'm having them run shallow. We've had some problems with that. So that's uh, why I'm choosing to do that. You know what? I should be doing a second torpedo. Because that's a... Oh, you know what? I didn't set it. Did I set it to an impact? I think I did. We'll find out. That's... N oof, boy. These buttons. Since it's been so dark, the... Uh, the Type 1s have not been a liability, really. Boy, these are hard to see. See my torpedoes lurking in the darkness. And I think that we've got a good solution here. Bit concerned about the angle. No, it's good. It's fine. This is fine. Right on the money, just about. It's a little bit slow, actually, but it'll do. That other one I shot a little bit ahead. Well, shit. <laughs> Didn't need it. Oh, well. Let's see if it still hits. I think it might actually go ahead of it, because this guy's just gonna come to a stop. to see if I could see the torpedo, but uh, it's it's a moot point. We, we we all this is what we come here for. The effing controller money shot. Oh, it hit it again. <laughs> it's kind of funny that it hit it stern too. Um, oh well, I don't care. <laughs> we we achieved excellent results. Here we be. More trucks. What's with all these goddamn trucks? Whoa. Apparently I can't uh, use the mouse. I can't click. Well, maybe I can. All right. I don't know what I was doing wrong there. but Pretty handily done, I would say. What does that bring our tonnage up to? Just a fucking irresponsible amount is what it brings it to. <laughs> it's a lot of tonnage. And that is going away very quickly. Kind of a weird reflective pattern there. Pay no attention. Yeah, the clicking doesn't work when I... Get rid of the interface. Is the easiest sinking yet, I feel like. I should know better than to say things like that, but um, it's true. 
Hey, did I ID it right? Yes. Superlative! Okay. Great stuff. Nice plume of smoke off in the distance. So now, let's return to course. Not so fast. There we are. Okay. Almost to Gibraltar. We're off the coast of Portugal. Just have probably another... No, it looks like a day and a half of sailing. So that'll put us in the range of Gibraltar in the morning. Which is actually okay, because we'll have a bit of a time getting through the strait here. That's actually perfect. As long as, uh, well, if we run into any, any contacts or anything, I guess it's going to change the timeline. But we should be able to sneak through pretty easily. So that's what I intend to do. That's what will happen. I'm going to visualize success. I'm gonna actually just going to go ahead and plot a course right through. We are just now making our entry into the Strait of Gibraltar. And uh, I had us going at a head standard, so we're a little bit ahead of schedule. But uh, I should actually look at the surface conditions here. Oh my. Well, this is not desirable. That is, uh, that's Tangier over there, but the surface conditions are very, 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 very clear. So this could be problematic. Um, I'm not sure what to think about that. This is, this is actually pronounced Tangier, because it's across the strait from uh, Spicier just a flavor sensation sailing through the Strait of Gibraltar but I think I, I, I did it because I wanted to as far as the speed thing I did it because I wanted to have a little bit more time if I need to go under for a prolonged period of time just so I could make it through um, speaking of going under let's do that bring us down a little bit deeper just in case there's a plane that decides to visit us and not that I don't trust my hydrophone operators but I don't trust my hydrophone operators Okay, so that's off in the direction of Gibraltar, actually. It's about 350. Well, it's a little bit further to the south. If we're honest here, it's just... So that could be a, a patrol of some kind. Duly noted. Good to start reconnoitering a bit. We'll go on the surface again. I'm not in such a god-awful hurry. I'm actually going to stay at this speed. Might be a little... Nah, let's go. Because I might need to dive. Would negate the whole purpose of me sailing through here, or sailing to the strait as quickly as I did. I'm actually going to look... What the fuck? I thought I pushed the right button. <laughs> Just going to take a look, see if I can see any ships. Extremely clear out, so I would be able to make them out pretty easily. Not a thing so far. Seagull. The rats of the sea. Okay. Well, there's not even any gun emplacements that I can see, but, uh, technically isn't that Spain? Yeah, that's Spain there, so. Merchant's been spotted. Hmm. Hmm. He's heading right for me. Well, that's kind of inopportune. I'm going to go ahead and dive. I'll see you again. want to go with the buttons. Let's, this is fine. And he is apparently heading out of the harbor. Um, let's take a look on the scope real quick if we can. Oh, there he 
is. And he is Greek. Okay, well. I'm not really here to sink ships. I'm here to get through. If there was a target of opportunity, as dictated by the internet, then uh, I would be happy to take a shot at it. But that's not worth compromising our uh, our stealth. This is more of a Metal Gear kind of a kind of a mission. Metal Gear. Fuck. <laughs> he says immediately, surfacing and letting himself be detected. Oh, it's pretty far away, though. Is that a, that's a different ship. Interesting. Is that the Prudential Rock? Like a rock. Um, okay. Well, anywho. I'm not seeing or hearing much of anything to be worried about. There's another one. Okay, hang on. Another merchant. So yeah, I mean, I guess Gibraltar's a busy port, but um... It should be busy with warships, frankly. I'll see put us under again. I'm actually gonna go slow here. Let them pass by. Yeah, uh... Hmm. I am not impressed. I need to scope this out. <laughs> Although, oh, 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 oh. mistakes were made. Okay, what the fuck, game? What? That's unacceptable. There's no traffic in there. There's nothing. Nothing that I can hear. So maybe I ought to shut my yap. But that is less than impressive. And we can't see the actual port because of the rendering issue, but... Meanwhile, I'm not seeing any uh, shore batteries or anything. I'm just going to saunter... Well, I'm not going to saunter into... Gibraltar, but I'm going to get close. This could be unwise. Warship spotted. Okay, well, hey, wait a minute. That is actually at a dock, though. Despite appearances to the contrary, that has a bunch of harbor wall in between us and them. That's... This is really disappointing. This is... I'm, I'm just gonna cheat and look because if there should have been some type of escort or patrol uh, scooting around more towards you know where I am now <laughs> you can see everything's popping into view here and there is basically nothing here like there's there's the warship I spotted it looks like a British destroyer or something that might be a cruiser, actually, but, um... Yeah, this is... This is underwhelming. Well, I haven't loaded, apparently. <laughs> I haven't loaded some things. Uh, you know what, I should be careful. Because that thing, I, I don't know if it'll actually attack me, but... It's kind of a moot point, frankly. I... I I don't see anything else. Well, that was a bust. I'm just gonna head out of here, frankly. For some reason, things aren't rendering over here. They should, though, I think. But I'm just gonna get out of here, move on with my life. And 
proceed on the surface, because why the hell not, right? I suppose it's possible that we can be spotted, but I haven't even seen any shore batteries, so... Don't worry, be happy. Right? Like the man says in the song... Yeah, I, I kind of have to call shenanigans <laughs> on this mod, because... That's... that's this is the whole point of Silent Hunter, is that you get to go out and do crazy... dangerous things like this, and if there's no danger, then it's just crazy! And who wants that? It's not even that crazy, we just basically sailed through the Strait of Gibraltar without any problems whatsoever. I don't... I need to look at the campaign files at this point, like, in detail, because... I don't think I did anything unusual. I just installed it straight up through JSGME. I don't know if I'm missing a sub mod or something like that, but I don't think so. I mean, the fact, the thing is, is that if I, if something was not installed correctly, none of this would be. Uh, well, it depends on what file has what in it, but so clearly it's working in some sense. Because I'm able to, uh, you know, sail into harbors around here. I mean, Gibraltar has a ship in it, so something's being modeled there. It's just not much. <laughs> but who knows, maybe a big task force is going to swoop in on me all of a sudden. I don't think so, though. I think that we're probably going to just get out of here. Um, maybe we'll head to the bone zone. Who can say? Yeah, this, this kind of blows, honestly, but... Maybe we can stir up a ruckus in the Mediterranean, now that we're in, basically without any problems whatsoever. We'll go to Messina, and, well, we could go to Genoa, or La Spezia, or whatever, yeah. Let's just go to Messina, because I think from here, I want to check out Alexandria. Check out some of the convoy traffic, if any, exists. And if things get really ridiculous, I will go through the Suez Canal. <laughs> Cause fuck it, I mean... <laughs> if there's no, no real danger, we might as well. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, I'm getting really footloose here because I was going at 1024 there. That's, that's dangerous stuff, that's bad policy. But, uh... I don't know, I guess I shouldn't even be nervous because there was nothing there. So, alright. It was underwhelming, but uh, hopefully we can come across some kind of danger, some kind of interesting, uh encounters here along the way. We'll see what happens, folks.